Facts about warts. Warts are non-cancerous skin growths caused by a viral infection in the top layer of the skin or mucous membranes. Viruses that cause warts belong to a family called human papillomavirus HPV. The appearance of a wart depends on where it is growing. Warts are usually skin-colored and feel rough to the touch, but can be dark, flat or smooth. There are several different types of warts. The first type is the common warts grows around the nails, on the fingers and on the backs of the hands. They are more common where skin has been broken, for example where fingernails are bitten or hangnails picked. The second type of warts are the foot warts which usually on the sole of the feet and they are called plantar warts. When plantar warts grow in clusters they are known as mosaic warts. Most plantar warts do not stick up because the pressure of walking flattens them and pushes them back into the skin. These warts often have black dots that are actually blood vessels. The third type is the flat warts that are smaller and smoother than other types of warts. They tend to grow in great numbers. They can grow from 20 to 100 at any one time. They can occur anywhere, but in children they are most common on the face. In adults they are often found in the beard area in men and on the legs in women. Irritation from shaving probably accounts for this. Many people can get warts and not even know they are there. It just depends on what kind of warts you come in contact with. Some warts can be painful and even cause burning just depending on where they are located at on your body. Warts probably are passed from person to person, sometimes indirectly. The time between the first contact and the time that the warts can be seen is often several months. The risk of catching hand, foot and flat warts is small. Wearing shower thongs, taking proper care of hands and feet can limit the spread of warts. It is important to use precautions to limit the spread of genital warts. Some people will get parts and some will not get them. It just depends on how they come in contact with them. If you do come in contact with warts here's how you can get rid of them. Warts often disappear without treatment over a period of several months to years. However, since warts can be spread to others or new areas of the body, it is reasonable to treat most people, especially if the warts are bothersome or painful. Some people will get them burned off with AICD or being froze off it. These methods both can be painful but it works, there are some wart remedies available without a prescription. However, you might mistake another kind of skin growth for a wart, and end up treating something serious as though it were a wart. If you have any questions about either the diagnosis or the correct way to treat a wart, you should seek medical advice. When you are trying to detect a wart the first thing you should look at is try to compare it with your normal skin, a wart is a type of virus that will start to show up on your skin. Whether you know it or not we are all exposed to viruses and since warts are a type of virus we can get them like any other virus. A lot of us cannot tell if someone may have a virus when we are around them unless they tell us they have been sick or exposed to someone who has been sick. The same goes for a wart, if you cannot see a wart on someone and you come into contact with them by just shaking their hand you can get a wart. Even if the person you come in contact with does not have a wart he could be exposed if he has been around a person who has a wart. The myth about catching a wart from a frog is just that a myth, you cannot get a wart from a frog, there are methods a person could use to get some relief from a wart. Your dermatologist can suggest some of these methods that would work on you. One method is called the acid method. Using this method will destroy the tissue in the wart, your dermatologist will give you a prescription that is a solution that you can apply to your wart for a month or two. The acid that your doctor will use is combined of salicylic and also of an acid called lactic. Another way your dermatologist might tell you is called a freeze method. I know all about this method because my husband's dermatologist does this method for his skin cancer. I will say this method is a little painful but is the fastest way to clear the warts up. The doctor will use this spray can with a lot of force. The spray comes out pretty heavy and will freeze the warts, the freezing actually will burn some, this procedure does not take long usually only a few minutes. You will also notice in a few days that you may have some blisters that appear after this procedure. Do not be alarmed they will go away in a few days. This procedure may sound very painful but it is not that bad, it will get rid of the warts. The burning of the procedure won't last very long. In fact when my husband has it done he is able to drive back home. One of the last resorts you may consider is what the doctor calls the slash and burn method. If you have tried all the other methods and they just won't work on you this method will. Your doctor will apply to your skin a local anesthetic. 
After your doctor has applied this to your skin you will feel nothing. He will use a needle that is electric and by this type of minor surgery will cut the warts out. He can also use a laser to vaporize the warts, the only thing that you may have to deal with is a little scarring. So if you are susceptible to getting warts remember that you do have an option of many different treatments. Warts are round, pale, harmless growths that affect the uppermost layers of your skin. Warts are caused by a virus that can also be spread from one person to another. They can spread on different areas of your body. They are categorized according to the area of your body where they would occur. Common warts will appear on your hands, feet, knees, and face. Throughout this article one want to inform you all more about different types of warts so that you will know what to look for in case you are suspicious. Flat warts which have flat tops, will appear on the wrists, arms, legs, and also your face. Plantar warts are found on the bottom of your feet, and will appear flattened by the pressure of the body. The genital warts are found on the genitals and do require you to get them treated by your physician as soon as possible. The one most important factor for a woman is to know that genital warts may increase the risk of cervical cancer. Warts with the exception of genital warts do not require you to seek treatment by your physician unless they are causing you pain. Plantar warts, for example, may cause walking uncomfortable. When trying to treat your warts on your own it may help you to know you can use an over-the-counter wart remover that will contain salicylic acid, make sure that you do not apply any wart removers to your skin that is healthy around the warts. Most important wash your hands before and after you touch the warts so that you will prevent the warts to spread to other areas of your body, when going to a doctor you should have as much knowledge as possible about the warts you have. A physician can remove the warts with liquid nitrogen, corrosive agents, or even surgery. Genital warts may be treated by your physician with a drug called podophyllin. All warts may recur because the virus will remain in your body indefinitely. To prevent the transmission of the genital warts, be safe and use a condom during sexual contact. Also you can try applying liberal amounts of vitamin E oil on the area that is affected, although some people are sensitive to it and should not put it on their skin. You may also want to try and take garlic parsley tablets to relieve the warts. Although warts can be an embarrassing sight do not let them go if they are causing you pain, remember that embarrassment can go away but pain cannot without the proper treatment. I am stressing to women who have genital warts, do not wait to get treated because of embarrassment. These are not like regular warts, they can be very dangerous if not treated, cervical cancer is not to be treated lightly, these warts can have a very high risk for women to get cervical cancer, so please get them treated immediately, believe me your gynecologist has seen a lot worse in his life. Helpful remedies for warts. You can now get rid of ugly warts that may appear on your face, hands, feet, or even your genital, etc. There are many folk remedies for removing warts, but their apparent effectiveness is simply due to the fact that most warts eventually disappear on their own accord. The best way you can treat an unsightly wart is to apply a wart remedy in the form of paint, cream, or plaster. These are available without a prescription at most drugstores. These preparations contain chemicals that will destroy the, the abnormal skin cells. However, these chemicals will also damage surrounding healthy cells, so the preparations should always be applied very carefully to minimize the soreness of the wart. You must not treat warts on your face or genitals with a wart remedy, because the skin on these areas are very sensitive. And never allow these type of preparations to get into your eyes. Your dermatologist may prescribe a more effective kind of wart preparation. If these preparations are not working your dermatologist may freeze the wart with liquid nitrogen or may decide to burn it off with electricity. When using this treatment that can be rather painful the wart will probably just fall off. A wart can also be scraped off by your doctor after the doctor will first numb the area using a local anesthetic. If you would like to learn more about the home remedies for warts you can look online. Some of these people who you can order a book from have a lot of knowledge about them. Some have over 25 years of knowledge on warts. I have seen books that if you try certain methods the warts will go away in a matter of days. Also on some sites that you can buy books they talk about the genital warts and common warts. You can actually remove these warts they say by just using some common ingredients that you can find in your kitchen. If you rather not spend money on a book read up on warts that are free online or go to your library in your town. Most libraries have computers now instead of those index cards, so you can look up everything you need to know about warts rather quickly. So whether you decide to treat your warts by a home remedy or by going to a doctor understand what type of wart you may have before treating it. 
Home remedy treatments are very popular and if you have not yet chosen this method for treatment you should most definitely consider doing so very soon. Warts can be treated from many different methods chosen by every individual. As long as the treatment you are giving for your warts is working then there is no need to question whether your method for treatment is the best or not. Treating warts is something anyone can do, just ask a pharmacist or talk with your doctor. Or just take notes from articles like this, so that you can be sure to get the help you need. If you like the video give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. If you want more insights and tips don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell for more updates.